Hi there nature fans and welcome back to Trails with Dale. Today we're going to the Beaver Lake Trail at Stanley Park in Vancouver and we're going to take a closer look at the plants and animals there. To know a good berry is it has to just fall off in your hands so that's the that's the trick if it falls off then it's ready to come off because what is a berry but just a, a bunch of seeds and generally they're red or brightly colored because they want to get eaten. Right. So. Oh, and there's a salmon berry. Yeah, the, over there nice you can see the, the golden salmon berries that are in the salmon berry bush. So we got a couple berries, thimble berry and salmon berry and even some mountain ash berries up here that are all still green. They're still starting to, to form. But uh, these, uh, these are full of seeds. That's what berries are. They're full of seeds. They want to use animals as a way of transporting them. So what kind of animals might eat this? Squirrels. Squirrels. Yeah. Excellent. Squirrels. Yeah. Um, and one that flies really well? Uh, birds. Birds. Yeah. yeah, birds and you can hear them all around us. There's actually one that was calling, I just heard a while ago, called a salmonberry bird <laughs> or a Swainson's thrush. And he loves these salmon berries. It looks kind of gross on the on, on the side of the trail. You can see this is quite a large bubble nest of a juvenile insect called a larva. And these larva uh, make spit or bubbles uh, as a way of protecting themselves. Uh, they suck the juices, the plant juices, and we can actually see if this little nest has any, any guys in there by gently wiping away some of the spittle. And oh my god, there he is! And let's see if I can get him on. Isn't that, isn't that cool? There he is, and uh, in his almost pupa form. Uh, that's a spittle bug. So what that guy is doing is he's getting enough energy to change into uh, uh, an adult. And in this case, it's a leaf hopper. So that leaf hopper uh, will be a little bit different looking, be able to jump really good, uh, but until he can jump away from predators, he wants to make his little bubble nest out of predators. So this is a baby This is a baby, bug. yeah, oh. called the larva. And you notice how he's got a little point on his bum? Yep. Guess where those bubbles come from? His bum. His bum. He pulls <laughs> bubbles out of his bum yeah. and makes that bubble nest. Pretty gross, eh? That's pretty so gross. You can yeah. see him pumping his bum right there to make more to bubbles because I like. In the bubble. I, I've, I've messed up his nest. Oh but that's gosh. pretty amazing, eh? That yeah. is very amazing. Yeah. Super important to take a look at what's kind of underneath your feet too, because there's lots of little things that uh, has uh, that is super super neat. And uh, this is actually sphagnum moss, uh, a kind of a peat moss. You can see it's a little dried out right now, but give it a feel. Ooh, it's like carpet. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's yeah. very cool. It actually is only alive right on the very top, and it, and it grows in deep, deep bogs. Uh, known in Alberta, if you ever go to Alberta, those really deep peat bogs. Yeah. That's the kind of moss that this is. It's Awesome. We've just got back from Beaver Lake Trail at Stanley Park in Vancouver and we saw thimbleberries, salmon berries, and mountain ash and what else did we see? Well we also saw some things really close up. We took a look at those spittle bugs and we saw those in the little bubble nest how they protected themselves as a larva yeah. and we also saw some sphagnum moss which we, we got to touch there. That was pretty neat. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I had a really great time. Thanks so much Dale. Yeah no problem. That was great. Thank you for watching Trails with Dale and if you like this show you can see so many videos like it on our YouTube channel so please subscribe and don't forget that Science World is a charitable organization dedicated to advancing science literacy for all British Columbians. So if you'd like to support us you can go to our website at scienceworld.ca slash donate and let us know what you think. So see you next time on Trails with Dale. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming guys. Bye.